Hello everyone, my name is Ray and today I'm doing a show and tell session and today what I'm showing you is my Blackbird Lucky 13 guitar, it's carbon fiber and when I was looking for this guitar I was looking for a specific guitar that I could travel with that wouldn't be subjected to the um, normal temperature related atrocities that can happen to guitars, wooden guitars during transport. Um, not that I've ever run into a situation where any of my guitars have warped or been rendered inoperable because of any kind of variations. But there have been times when I've literally driven from the northern Montana area down to San Antonio, Texas, where the temperatures were freezing up in northern Montana and the temperatures were in the uh, mid 80s in San Antonio. And those drives didn't take more than 27 hours straight where I just pretty much stopped for gas and food and uh, by food, what I mean is just to eat a snack while I was, you know, pumping gas or whatever. And uh, on that note, when I'm usually stopping for gas, I'm not stopping for the, um, the foods that are in the gas station anymore. I usually bring my own stuff with me. It's either a stock of, of pistachios or cashews, something easier to eat while I'm on the road. Um, or, you know, uh, non super runny fruit like bananas or something. Grapes are great. Um, things that I won't get too um, messy or, or have to distract myself with while I'm driving. And, um, and a lot of times when I'm driving, again, it's, it's basically just enjoying the ride and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really expending any energy doing that. So to, to drive for 27 hours is not really a big deal to stay up for 27 hours doing things at home. is not a big deal to um, physically do anything that I want to do anymore is not a big deal. I recently lost about 80 pounds of weight by eating better foods and that changed my health tremendously. Um, I, I kind of got off track here. What I'm trying to talk about is the uh, aspect of travel and this guitar, which I'm showing off. Again, this is a Blackbird Lucky 13 carbon fiber guitar and I love how it sounds, but more than that, I love how it transports. It's super tough. It's it's uh, it's near indestructible. I mean, it's carbon fiber. It, it's uh, I'm I'm sure it's got its weak points and and its uh, its weak temperature variation points and all that. But overall, this guitar is one of the most amazing guitars that I've ever had, and it's my favorite guitar to travel with. I have another travel guitar. I'll show you that one in a whole different segment. But this particular guitar. Um, I've busted a couple of strings on it over the course of time, so I always make sure to take backup strings with me, just in case. And I definitely enjoy playing it. It's um, it sounds great. It's it's got what's called a parlor body, or or uh, I think it's called a parlor style body. And that style of body is basically a little bit smaller than most guitars. It's comfortable to hold for me. It's easy to transport, and. Blackbird Lucky 13. How much cooler of a, of a name can you get for something like this? So anyway, um, that's, that's my segment of showing you this guitar. The story I want to tell you with this guitar is why I got it. I got this guitar to travel with, like I was mentioning, and one of my first places that I traveled to with this guitar was to Big Bend National Park, which is what inspired the song that I'm going to play on this guitar. Um, Big Bend is such a vast and expansive park that you know, it would take lifetimes to explore it all. I'm going to point it out on this map behind me here. So take a look at where I'm pointing. If you're looking at Texas on your own map, it's on your left hand side, the little bottom corner tip of Texas. Let me show you. I think you can see this if you're looking at this on a, uh, especially if you're watching this on a high definition TV or some kind of a big screen. Because uh, these, these videos can be played on your full screen where you can enjoy a lot more detail, by the way. Not that you want to see me all that much, but, you know, there's there are some details that you just might miss if you don't watch it in its full, its, uh, full glory. <laughs> so um, I hope that you enjoyed me showing you this Blackbird Lucky 13. But since it's a guitar, to show it to you, to really show it to you, I have to actually make it make some sounds. I'm going to make some sounds too, telling a story about Big Bend. And my voice is not nearly as beautiful as the voice of this guitar, but I hope that you'll try and listen along. 
and uh, and hear the story. And it's really it it, go, it can be interpreted a lot of different ways, but in this particular case, I'm I'm talking about becoming a fan of a place and then realizing uh, maybe much too late that I should have taken better care of it. And uh, so that's what I'm talking about, you know. When we were young, we all made some some decisions to eat improperly and and to uh, follow the the habits that were taught to us by our forefathers, and uh, maybe maybe it's time to start changing those changing those energies along the way. When I was young, I didn't know the things that I would do. When I was young, I didn't know I'd end up meeting. But now I'm older and more experienced I guess that counts for something But now I'm older and more experienced Yeah, better than nothing Now here you are, laid out before me Ooh, a thing of beauty Now here you are, laid out before me Ooh, I do my duty I pull out my big lens Take another picture of you I pull out my big lens Tell me baby, what would you do Now that I know you, you're my muse Should I follow you now that I know you You're my muse Should I come for you and if I come for you again you follow me and if I come for you again would you swallow me swallow me swallow me swallow up all the pain swallow me swallow me swallow me it's not in vain and as I bring myself back to you I lose myself and as I bring myself back to you There's no one else Swallow me, swallow me Swallow up all the pain Swallow me, swallow me Swallow me, it's not in vain guitar is really nice I really love it um, I'm using a, a dragon pick it's uh, it's a carbon fiber pick it's it's a little bit more difficult to accurately pick at the strings because it's not a flexible pick it's very rigid and uh, anyway this song I, I played it on this guitar because this particular guitar again reminds me of Big Bend every time I grab this guitar it's to take it on the road. In fact, I'll be taking it on the road um, soon here and playing some new songs, hopefully learning some new songs. Mostly what I really need to do is learn to sing better for you guys so I can tell you these stories in a way that you're like, wow, I want to hear that story. Um, but this particular story is about when I was young, I didn't know the things that I would do and that I'd end up meeting you. And in this particular case, it's talking about big band and um, a long time ago, I drove into the park and I saw a helium uh, balloon that had been let go from a car dealership about three states away that was landed in some of the um, agaves in Big Bend in the basin. So I've, I've talked a lot about letting balloons go and, and continuing to dissuade. I've continued to dissuade us all from using one-time plastic. And it's, it's near impossible in this society without fully disconnecting from the from the stream um, if you have grandkids if you have children I should say and you're and you ever let your grandparents watch the kids I've seen table after table at every place I've gone to where grandkids are taking the kids out where the grandkids and the kids alike take to-go cups of sugary substances in plastic cups with plastic straws home thinking that that recycling effort and that 
a uh, high blood pressure pill will solve everything in the long run. When re- in reality, all we had to do is watch what it was we were putting in our own hands and uh, maybe talking about it in a way that made sense to our family so that we could make some better decisions. So um, I hope that, uh, I hope that these, when, when, when the time comes and when I'm swallowed up into the nothingness, that's not actually a nothingness when I'm swallowed up into the eternal energy that uh, will call us all back. Basically, I just hope that I was able to spread some kind of joy and, and, and bring a smile to someone's face. And uh, I know that these stories are a little bit harder to stomach because of a lot of reasons, but at the same time, more than ever, we need to really be cognizant of what it is that we're doing to our environments. And uh, <laughs> again, I know I'm a part of this. I've caused a lot of this and I continue, will continue to cause a lot of this. To live is to consume, as I heard it put on on uh, Jupiter ascending. And it's true, but we can still be more mindful about what it is that we're doing. So this song goes out to Big Bend National Park and all national parks and all things that we didn't think about as much when we should have been carefully loving these entities in a way that would nurture them and not destroy them. Have a great day. Peace. Thanks for watching.